Hello, 7th graders! This is Tele Raja Escuela, Tarana, welcoming you to Mathematics 7. We are glad to be with you in this new normal journey of schooling through radio broadcast. I am your Tele Raja host, teacher Ms. Pajen M. Campo from Tagum City National High School. We would like to thank our radio partner, Hope Radio 107.1, DXHS, where we are airing episodes for junior high school. Thank you for your generosity. Are you all excited to learn? That is great! Come and join us and be one of a kind Math Talino student. Before we begin, I would like you to get your modules, your notebook, and your pen, and be comfortably seated at the comfort of your home. Our topic for today will be Solving Problems Involving Conversion of Units of Measurement. This topic will be brought to us by our Teleradio teacher, Teacher Madeline B. Pipito of Tagum City National High School. Hello dear students! I hope that you are all safe while listening to our program. Now that you are all settled in your homes, Bring out your pens and notebooks and your learning modules, specifically your Math 7, Quarter 2, Module 2. Today, we are going to discuss the Lesson 2 of your Module 2 entitled, Solving Problems Involving Conversion of Units of Measurement. But before that, let us hear our objectives for today. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Review conversion of measurements from one unit to another in both metric and English systems. Solve problems involving conversion of units of measurement. And reflect about the use of conversion to real-life problems. The conversion of units of measurement is very important as it shows how one value can be equal to another unit since the use of per unit depends on preferable time and situation. Other than that, this assists us in solving mathematical problems which involve different units of measurement. Now, before we begin our lesson for today, let us review on how to convert from one unit to another as this needs to be mastered for you to be able to connect to your learning targets for today. Are you ready? Let's start! In 5 seconds, convert each unit and give its equivalent value. Again, in 5 seconds, convert each unit and give its equivalent value. Time's up! Let's check if you get all three answers correctly. For number 1, the correct answer is 2 meters. Did you get it right? Very good! According to our metric system number line, millimeters should move three places going to the left. Therefore, 2,000 becomes 2. So, the answer is 2 meters. For number 2, the answer is 3.25 pounds. You have to remember that 1 ounce is equal to 0.0625 pounds. So, as we multiply 52 ounces by 0.0625 pounds over 1 ounce, both units of ounce will be cancelled out. So, the final answer is 3.25 pounds. Did you get it? Good job! For number 3, the answer is 800 pins. You also have to remember that 1 gallon is equal to 8 pins. So, as we multiply 100 gallons by 8 pins over 1 gallon, both units of gallon will be cancelled out. So, the final answer is 800 pins. Good job, students! What a great way to start our lesson! And now, let us proceed to our discussion right away. In solving problems involving conversion of units of measurement, you have to consider the following steps. These are Step 1. Read and analyze the problem carefully. Step 2. 
Convert all the unit measure that is the same unit in the final answer. Step 3. Find the conversion factor or factors that will change the starting unit to the ending unit. Step 4. Compute or simplify the given operations. Also, when engaging to word problems, you also have to follow the list of customary units of different units such as length, mass, and volume or capacity. These will be your guide for easier access of the computation. The following units are, for length, we have 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, 1 yard is equal to 36 inches, 1 yard is equal to 36 inches or 3 feet. 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet. For mass, 1 pound is equal to 12 ounces. 1 US short ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. 1 metric ton is equal to 2,200 pounds or 1,000 kilogram. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Please be reminded and be conscious about the different symbol per unit. Now for capacity or volume, 1 cup is equal to 8 fluid ounces, 1 pint is equal to 2 cups, 1 quart is equal to 2 pints, 1 gallon is equal to 4 quarts, 1 liter is equal to 1.0567 quarts, and 1 gallon is equal to 3.79 liters. For better understanding, let us have some examples. First example, Sarah is running in a 42-mile marathon. How many more feet does Sarah need to run if she has already covered 64,240 yards? Here, we have to convert 42 miles and 64,240 yards to feet since the final answer must be in feet. As we convert 42 miles to feet, we have to remember that 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet. As we multiply 42 miles by 5,280 feet over 1 mile, both units of miles will be cancelled out. So, the final answer is 221,760 feet. On the other hand, as we convert 64,240 yards to feet, we have to remember that 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. That's why, as we multiply 64,240 yards by 3 feet over 1 yard, both units of yards will be cancelled out. So, the final answer is 192,720 feet. Lastly, 192,720 feet should be subtracted from 221,760 feet in order to find the distance that Sarah needs to run to finish the marathon. So, the final answer is 29,040 feet. Moving on to example number 2. When Sebastian weighed his balikbayan box, its weight was 34 kilograms. When he got to the airport, he found out that the airline charged 110 pesos for each pound in excess of the free baggage allowance of 50 pounds. How much will Sebastian pay for the excess weight? This time, we have to convert 34 kilograms to pound and subtract the answer to 50 pounds in getting the excess weight of the baggage. Let us start the conversion with 34 kilogram. 1 kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram. So, both units of kilogram will be cancelled out. This will give us the final answer of 74.8 pounds. Now, subtract 50 pounds from 74.8 pounds in order to find the excess weight. Remember that the allowed pounds is just 50 kilograms. Therefore, we have to subtract the two. So the answer is 24.8 pounds as the excess. To be able to find the amount to pay for excess weight, multiply 24.8 pounds to 110 pesos. 
This gives us the final amount of 2,728 pesos. Now, let's try to practice. Give the correct value of what is being asked in every box to complete the entire process of computation. After, provide a conclusion for each item. You have 15 seconds to answer each problem. Problem number 1. Two friends, Zail and Enzo, run in marathons. Zail finished a 21-kilometer marathon in Cebu, while Enzo finished a 15-mile marathon in Los Angeles. Who between the two run a longer distance? By how many meters? Give the correct value of what is being asked in every box to complete the entire process of computation. You have 50 seconds to answer. Okay, for our solution, we have to convert 21 kilometer and 15 miles to meter. Then, subtract the two values to find the distance between Zail and Enzo. The first box should be filled out by 1,000 meters since 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. The second box should be filled out by the expression 21 times 1,000 meters. This gives us the final answer of 21,000 meters. The second step requires us to put 1,609.34 meters as the equivalent of 1 mile. Both units of mile will be cancelled out, which will give us the expression of 15 times 1,609.34 meters. Then, the result is... 24,140.1 meters. Then, 21,000 must be subtracted from 24,140.1 meters. So, the final answer is 3,140.1 meters. As for the conclusion, Enzo finished a longer distance of 24,140.1 meters compared to Zail who finished 21,000 meters only. The difference of their distance is 3,140.1 meters. For the second problem, a forwarding company charges 1,100 pesos for the first 20 kilograms and 60 pesos for each succeeding 2 kilograms for freight sent to Europe. How much do you need to pay for a box weighing 88 pounds. Give the correct value of what is being asked in every box to complete the entire process of computation. You have 15 seconds to answer. For our solution, convert 88 pounds to kilogram and solve for its charges. The first box should be filled out by 2.2 pounds since 1 kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. The second box should also be filled out by the same value, giving us the hint to divide the two values. This will give us the result of 40 kilograms. The second step requires us to put 40 kilograms, which gives us the final answer of 10 kilograms because... 40 kilograms minus 20 kilograms is equal to 20. Divided by 2, the answer is 10 kilograms. 10 kilograms is the excess weight after 20 kilogram that is covered by 1,100 pesos as the charge. For the final step, we have to multiply 10 kilograms to 60 pesos as the charge per kilo after 20 kilograms. This will give us... 1,700 pesos. Therefore, it needs 1,700 pesos to pay for a box weighing 88 pounds. This time, let us recall important points. Always remember that for you to be able to solve word problems involving conversion of units of measurement, these steps should be considered. Again, step 1, read and analyze the problem carefully. Step 2, convert all the unit measure that is the same unit in the final answer. Step 3, find the conversion factor or factors that will change the starting unit to the ending unit. 
Step 4. Compute or simplify the given operations. Also, the customary units of measurements should not be taken for granted as these are the guide in conversion. Such as the customary units of length, mass, capacity, or volume. Please get your quiz paper and do not forget to write your name and section. I will read the problem twice, then provide what is being asked. You have to answer 3 items for 10 seconds each. Simply write your answers on your paper. Question number 1. Raul began a 7-kilometer hike on Monday by walking 453 meters. He walked 2 kilometers on Tuesday and 544 meters on Wednesday. How many meters must he walk to complete the hike? Again, Raul began a 7-kilometer hike on Monday by walking 453 meters. He walked 2 kilometers on Tuesday and 544 meters on Wednesday. How many meters must he walk to complete the hike? You have 10 seconds to answer. The correct answer is 4,003 meters. Raul still needs 4,003 meters to complete the 7-kilometer hike. Did you get the correct answer? Nice work! Question number 2. Mount Everest, the highest mountain peak in the world, approximately 8 kilometers, 853 meters, 5.4 decimeters. How high is the mountain in meters? Again, Mount Everest, the highest mountain peak in the world, approximately 8 kilometers, 853 meters, 5.4 decimeters. How high is the mountain in meters? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is 8,853.54 meters. Mount Everest measures 8,853.54 meters vertically. Last question. A person breathes 105 gallons of air in one hour. How many quarts of air does a person breathe in one minute? Again, a person breathes 105 gallon of air in one hour. How many quarts of air does a person breathe in one minute? You have 10 seconds to answer. The correct answer is 7 quarts per minute. There are 7 quarts of air a person breathes every minute. For your assignment, please answer Let Us Enhance on page 10 of your Math 7, Quarter 2, Module 2, Lesson 2. That ends our lesson for today. Stay tuned next week for a new discussion. Let us turn you over now to Teacher Ms. Pajen. Until next time, have a good day, students! Thank you, Teacher Madeline! That ends our lesson for today. For you to understand our topic further, you may do the exercises provided in your modules. You may also have an advanced study of your topics to prepare yourself for your next lesson. Remember that the key to mastering mathematics is constant and diligent practice. Please make sure to be with us next session here at the School on the Air program of the Department of Education, Tagum City. This has been Teacher Ms. Pajen M. Campo, your Teleradio host. Keep safe, everyone! TV high, TV high.